like riding a bike. I'm going on my first drone outing. I don't I don't want to consider this the maiden voyage yet. This is still just trying out some stuff. I'd like to try out some of the intelligent flight modes. And I picked the perfect day. Usually Wednesdays are hike day. We were considering one, but um, everything didn't work out. So I'm still kind of heading out toward the mountains, but not into the mountains. So I can get some good scenery behind too. There's a big like sports complex out here where there's multiple soccer fields and giant uh, baseball diamonds. Not giant, excuse me. Multiple baseball diamond. There's a little spot just not too far out, 10 minutes from my house, so I'm gonna check that out and play with some of these patterns, maybe shoot a little bit and, and see what happens. I bought both batteries just in case, which each one I've been getting about, actually, I don't have a good estimate. So today will be a good determination of how long I am flying. It is a really, really clear day out. The wind is not that high. It's a little bit colder, but it's still like 30, 40 degrees right now, I think. Terrible! I suppose I probably should have made sure that it was open, but I figured the park would be. Well, I guess we'll drive around. It's a really cool area, except for there's huge power lines everywhere. <laughs> we'll find something. Okay, I didn't go down to the authorized vehicles only part. I went to the parking lot. I'm just trying to find a safe spot where I can practice this thing without hitting anybody or um, hitting any lines, so. I didn't bring the right socks, but I at least want to put my boots on with how much snow is out here. I do have this old tripod I might use. Once I put my zoom lens on, I'll shoot a few of these uh, cool key marks. The city is right here to my southeast. This cool front range here, I believe that the highway cuts around and everything behind me as well, minus this gate. I'll eventually get a hard case for this. I'm gonna play music while I did it, but I realized I gotta put my phone to the controller. So I'm going to turn it, well I'm gonna check messages real quick, but I'm gonna turn it on to uh, Do Not Disturb for a while, and turn Wi-Fi on just in case. I think I'll eventually get either an iPad or something else that I can use solely to uh, control this. Maybe even an iPod Touch. I like the idea of an, a larger iPad just because there's more screen to view, and I know that uh, a lot of people use a longer cable and have someone actually operate the camera, and that, that might come. A cool thing would be to have, obviously, my camera tripod, but then next to that I could have another tripod tripod with an iPad just mounted because I'm not going to be moving that much I don't think if I'm shooting some stuff so that way I could hold my remote and touch things on this larger screen right here that's an idea <laughs> Another thing I've noticed, um, sometimes the screen will get a lot darker because I believe one of the ambient light sensors is over here um, and just being covered. Check my battery, 100%. Yeah, full bars, and I got my other battery just in case. Let's go. Okay, now the biggest thing is just finding a flat surface I can put it on that's not wet and... It's a lot of snow here. I, if I was planning ahead, I probably would have brought that big table that I've been practicing on or even a shovel. I feel like if I were to scrape some of this off the sidewalk, just the sun would take it. We're gonna have to improvise. I don't wanna venture too far from the car. I've got a lot of equipment here and I just wanna have a home base. This little piece that I think holds the uh, three axis gimbal in place. I said to my roommate the other night, I bet you I lose this first because this is the one thing I take off and just put somewhere I put in my bag because I don't want it attached when it's flying to restrict the gimbal from moving. But I do like having this big hard case on right now while I'm a newbie. I think that's pretty flat. I think that'll be okay. I'm too anal about all this being perfectly straight. I wish I didn't care as much. Magnet interference, I haven't seen that before. Move away from sources of interference and maintain a distance of approximately four lines per verse. Apparently there's some interference and I need to... I don't know if that's right. This thing is really hot though. 
Um, I think it's ready now. It's really worrying me that it needed to calibrate and then I don't think it finished, but it's not asking me again, so we're gonna try it. <laughs> It's honestly probably my car. Probably not the best idea to fly it off the car. I saw that coming. Almost caught it. I think we're still good. I think that's kind of flat. I don't think it's gonna work on the car. From now on, I'm bringing a table, if it's snowy everywhere. Flight number one, let's go. see some time lapses of the mountains over here. That was a good first flight. I took it out far toward the mountains and I definitely could not see it so I used the return to home and I crossed my fingers that it actually would come back. I'm gonna try shooting it outward again backwards and then I'm gonna try out some of the intelligent flight plans and see how they work here. I need to label the batteries. I thought I had two full batteries. Either the newer one or the older one wasn't charged. I'm not quite sure. It started saying low battery alert. And so it brought it back in, which seemed like a lot quicker than the last one. I'll have to try to look at the stats and see what the flight times were. But I think my, oh, maybe it was my, my phone actually. My phone's at 16% battery. I know my remote here is at 81. It says the drone battery's way low. And that might be. I mean, I was trying a lot of things and leaving it up in the air a lot. Might have to look into that probably will end up getting a third battery, but I'd like to label them so I know which one's which. I think that was a good first flight though. First outdoor flight. There was definitely a lot of times I was nervous. I'm getting more of the hang of it. I got to take it off beginner mode, which is cool. Higher altitudes and faster flight. I don't have the best vision, so when it gets a little far, it's kind of hard, but the more I fly it, the more I'll know kind of how I want to fly it. And a lot of this was just kind of leaving it up in the air and staring at the screen trying to figure out what to do next or what to try out next. The follow thing worked kind of well where I selected myself and started walking. It didn't move too fast and I couldn't figure out how to focus it yet. And then I did select me or I can't remember what it was totally called. And that worked pretty well. It had a max distance or point where obviously the gimbal couldn't bend up or down enough to follow the person you wanted. But I think that would be kind of cool, maybe following a moving vehicle or something like that in an open area. I really tried to get the um, point of interest where it circles a radius above a selected point of interest. I think that last time it kind of started working. I don't know if it was in conjunction with the follow or the um, select target, but a lot of things to work on. 
I'm getting the, the controls a lot down more, and I think I'm going to just stick with this pattern. It's funny because uh, I don't play many video games, and my only reference is like Halo, which the joys are totally different, but um, let's get this out of the sun. I'm already sweating out here, so I bet you these things are cooking. This might actually be a good test area to do runs at. The only reason I came out here is because I saw one of these bird scare statues out in the field and I thought someone had literally brought their dog out here so I thought this was open to the public. And now I'm realizing that these are just here to scare away animals. Still a great day though.